When I first stepped into the world of buying my first home 11 years ago, it can all be very confusing. Where do you even start? But over time and after helping hundreds of families move here to Las Vegas, I've learned the ins and outs and how this process really works. So in this video, I wanna walk you through the home buying process step by step. I'll share the key things that I wish somebody shared with me at the beginning. How much money you actually need, what to expect during the financing, and how to set up yourself for a smooth closing. My whole goal here is to simplify things and give you clarity so that you can feel not knowledgeable, prepared, and excited. No more feeling lost in this real estate maze. Okay, so let's rewind 11 years back to when I was buying my first property. I thought I had to save for years and years to have enough for my down payment. The idea of coming up with $50,000 or more was overwhelming, but it turns out that's a big misconception of what's actually required. When I met with my lender, he explained that some programs only require a 3% down payment. And I was shocked, like for a $300,000 home, I just need a $9,000 down payment. Now that's a lot more feasible than what I had imagined. However, there is some costs that you need to plan for up front. The first one is a home inspection and you never want to skip this. Expect to spend around $300 to $500 for this home inspection. This is so you can hire a company that can come through the home and inspect the whole thing from roof, AC, plumbing, electrical, a lot of the things that you might not see just from walking around the property. Next is the appraisal to confirm the home's value. That usually costs around $500 to $600. I recommend budgeting around $1,000 to cover your inspections and your appraisal. And finally, closing costs. But with a savvy agent on your side, he can get the seller to cover all your closing costs. And once you add it all up, your out-of-pocket expense is around $1,000 to $2,000. Much less intimidating. Now let's talk financing. For first-time home buyers, an FHA loan is most popular. They only need 3.5% down and they tend to have lower interest rates. But an even better program is the FHA home at last program. This gives you up to 4% grant to help out with your down payment. So this can essentially cover your entire down payment. The trade-off is a slightly higher interest rate, but this grant doesn't have a repayment penalty where you have to pay the money back as long as you stay in the property for at least three years. And here's a pro tip. When you're talking to your lender, have him break down the options with different programs to see what fits your needs best. When you're armed with the right financial knowledge, you can be well on your way to owning your first property sooner than you thought. As a first time home buyer, I get it. The process might feel intimidating and confusing, but having a good experienced realtor walking you through this whole process makes all the difference. So if you're feeling lost or have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you out map your home buying journey. Add a comment on any home buying question below and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.